able to pay our bills in January and February. And the, the, we pay we pay a couple thousand dollars in interest on that. It's a, it's a good loan to keep us keep us above above water. Going into our expenses, uh, some of the highlights of the expenses: our administration, our police, our code, our trash. Uh, we're, we're projecting a three percent increase for our union and non-uniform employees. Uh, we, you guys have top-notch employees in this in this borough, and three uh, percent is pretty much in line with most of the municipalities in Delaware County, and it's well deserving, I, I believe, for our, our employees in town. Um, most of them live in town, also, so that money comes back to us with their income tax. Uh, in our general administration, some of the highlights are auditing services, our borough secretary, our borough financial consultants is all located in there. Uh, the benefits for our employees and general administration are located in there, as well as some office equipment, telephone postage, and our public officials' liability insurance. Going to police. Now, police is our police, like most municipalities in the whole state, is the, is the pretty much the the biggest expense item in the in the budget. Roughly 60% of our budget goes to police and fire expenses. So well, well served too. In our police budget, uh, your chief salary, your full time, your part time police. Uh, maintenance of all your vehicles, uh, our, our, our contribution to the, to the pension plan, which is a big number, it's close to $250,000. That's required by the state, that's required by state law. Um, also, any, any insurances, our workers' comp insurance, <laughs> our general liability insurance, our commercial crime, our police professional liability insurance is all reflected in that, that budget item. It's roughly $1.9 million on a $3 million budget goes to your police and fire. And it's not out of line with anywhere else. It's just, it's just the way it is. Uh, you know, they're, they're talking about regionalizing police forces. I don't think it's a good idea because I don't know where you'll have savings. But your police force does a real nice job here. And, uh, and, uh, and it, it's money well spent also there. Good. What so, was it last year? Uh, it's probably up about 2%, man. <laughs> yeah, so, I think it was 1.7 something last year. I can get you that number, though. That's a guy who's saying. And also, in, also included in there is, a, is a <coughs> one for, for, for a new police car. Buy a new car. Yeah, a new car. The, 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 it's budgeted in there, whether the council does it or not. I have a budget in there. Well, I thought we were getting a brand new vehicle. That, that's the one we're getting. That's what I'm paying for. No, I mean for the dog. Let me get a new vehicle. I'm not, I'm not, I'm we're getting two vehicles. Two new ones? Yes, sir. <coughs> nothing. Right? <coughs> one is nothing. <coughs> so this one he's talking about plus one. That's correct. And the one is free. <coughs> Find the word free. Well. Please talk. Is that free? <laughs> is that free? The There's talk? no purchase price associated with the vehicle. Um, you know, there's certainly, we've got to fuel it, we've got to change the oil, we've got to do all of the maintenance to the vehicle, we've got to insure it. So, it's not there's, there's, there's certainly a cost to the borough associated, the but there's no purchase price to that, that particular <laughs> vehicle that's going to the dog. <laughs> Moving on to fire protection. Uh, we have a small salary for your fire marshal. There's a salary for your EMT drivers. Um, we also have money budgeted in there. The, the borough con contributes twelve thousand dollars a year to the firehouse, uh, as well as our, the, our fire hydrants are, are rented through the utility, so we pay a monthly fee to for on our fire hydrants because um, it's, it's, I guess it's Aqua. Aqua maintains the fire hydrants and to make sure they're up to speed and everything, just in case we, we pay a fee to make sure those things are maintained by Aqua. It's roughly fifteen thousand dollars a year. Uh, we also also reflected in there the money that we get that I that I explained earlier on the uh, from the state for relief money is reflected in there as coming out as an expense. The exact money we, we get from the state we pay out to the fire company. Uh, moving on to bed principal and interest. Uh, there's two. We have a fire we have a, uh, a firehouse loan that they took a few years ago. That's reflected in here. We're, we're required to pay the debt uh, principal and interest for the next 20, 25 years. There's also a small loan still with Citizens Bank that's almost paid off. Uh, and also the interest on a $250,000 TAN loan that's paid off in, in June of next year is reflected in this line item. Going into the, that, that's pretty much the general fund. Is there any questions with that? Like I said earlier, right now preliminary, there's no, ta no tax increase for 2015. Uh, I think, it, I don't, there's no cutting in, of services or anything. I think we added some services, but it's probably an increase from last year, about 3% cost of living increase. There's no no, nobody went out and bought a lot of different things. What we try to do is maintain the budget uh, so it doesn't hit anybody in the pocket while can keep the taxes flat. And what did we add? Well, the police car is new. Um, the, the increase in the salaries, 3% is in addition. Um, and then, you, then pretty much everything else is based on history. But there's no big capital purchase. We don't have that. 
what we're trying to do in the next couple of years, if we you know, if things continue to, you know, we keep getting new businesses in the town, is develop some kind of capital fund where we can put money aside, and then when we need big capital purchases, instead of going out and raising taxes, we'll have that money aside, and we can start budgeting accordingly over the next five to ten years. Jeff, I want to add too that um, the MMO that we pay should decrease because we have more people. Yeah, the point, that's, a good, to it. that's a good point. More people are contributing to the MLL and also a lower salary range too, so our, our contribution will be less because they're making less money right now. As 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 our police force gets older, the next 10, 15 years it'll go up, but right now you're right, it should go down. It, should, year. it should go down, right? Because we have we have a fully staffed police force now, Absolutely. so there's more people contributing to it. And it's in, hopefully if the state continues to invest it properly also. <laughs> if the investments are going well, then we contribute less also. Yeah, Mike, Mike does a pretty yeah, good job today. Moving on to our sewer fund. Right now, per, the sewer fund different from the general fund is it's a it's a fee. It's on a tax, and any money that we bring in on the sewer fund has to be paid for just strictly sewer expenses. You can't use money in your sewer fund to pay for utilities in your borough building. You can't go, you can't go uh, pave streets. We can't pay salaries out of sewer fund unless it's strictly strictly related to sewer. And pretty much our sewer income is Delcora processes your sewage in Eddystone Borough. And as that goes up, our sewer fee goes up. Right now, I think we're one of the, I think only Ridley Township's lower than us. I think they're 250 a year. I believe we're 295 right now. Right now, I'm projecting that we may have to increase it $25 for the year just to cover Delcor's costs. Delcor's costs are going up anywhere from 6 to 8% to process the sewage. And that's, that's pretty much the increase would be just to cover that. Uh, there's, some money, there's some money in sewage for some maintenance, some small maintenance, but all in all, it's pretty much just to cover our Delcor bill. There's no excess money in our sewer fund. We were able to pay all four quarters this year on time. I want to continue to do that. I don't want to carry any kind of fourth quarter payment into the new year. We'll be able to pay our four quarters. When I first got here, we were always carrying the fourth quarter payment into the new year. We've been paying all our bills on time at the core. And uh, it's still at a pretty low rate, in my opinion. It'll be, if it, with the $25 is approved, you'll be paying $320 a year. And there's somebody who's probably having a cable bill for $320 a month. To remove sewage for $300 or so a month is pretty good. A lot of towns have water-based sewage, where in my town where I live in Aston, it's based on water usage. I pay close to $900 a year. I force young kids, that live, girls that live in the shower, so they use a lot of water. <laughs> so I'd rather have them smelly and they pay less of a sewer fee. But, <laughs> but that, that, that's difficult. That, that would be a sticker shock if, if we look at that. That could be a sticker shock in the first couple of years. People that are paying 300 some bucks can see their thing jump to $1,000, whereas it may help some senior citizens if they're by themselves and only shower and you use, use a lot less water than a family of four or five. But it's something we're, we're talking about. But right now, the flat fee, I think, is we can manage our sewer fund with that. Plus, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a manageable fee, you know, less than 20 bucks a month ballpark, which I think is really good for <coughs> sewage, to remove your sewage. And the way I understand it, according to Delcor, when the sewage, pro under the new regs of the state, sewage that goes to Delcor, when they dump that back into the creek, that, that, that sewage has to be drinkable. It has to be, it has to be better than water almost. That's how, that's how clean this stuff has to be when they, when they unload it. So that's where the cost is involved to keep the sewage process clean. And it's a cost thing. But we're managing it pretty well right now. Our liquid fuel budget, which is our final budget, is also the same thing. Based on our, our, our street and population, we're given an allocation from the from the state, it's a liquid fuel fund. <coughs> that money is strictly used for street resurfacing, uh, winter maintenance, such as snow plowing, uh, any type of stuff that's strictly related to street lighting. We pay PICO for our street lights. Uh, we pay a fee each month for that, and also our traffic lights. That money, that we, we, get, we bring in roughly 40 some thousand dollars. That money goes strictly after just street expenses. It doesn't affect anyone in this room, but it's budgeted that way. I can't use that money for, for general fund purposes, just strictly for street purposes, as you can see. Some of it's remaining to repairs. Hopefully we have a mild winter. I have $10,000 budgeted for that. Hopefully that will get us through the winter if we don't have a lot of snow. We have money budgeted for our street lighting and our traffic control based on prior year history. And just some bullet points. Um, this is a big point, I, and, I, and I always like to bring this one up. You're the, only, the first one, Delaware County. We take our, our, our guys that pick up our trash and do a nice job to work for the borough. We, have, we take our trash down to the Delaware County Solid Waste Authority. It costs $33 a ton that the borough pays. It's roughly forty dollars to $50,000 a year. You're the only town in Delaware County, might be the only town in the state, I don't even, I'm not sure, that doesn't have a trash fee. So we're in theory, we, our in, the trash fee is similar to what I said with sewer fee. If you have a trash fee, it only is supposed to cover your trash expenses. Well, I have budgeted $189,217 in trash expenses. That pays for your trucks, maintenance, your employees, their benefits, 
any kind of heavy trash, that kind of stuff. So right now, we, we, but we get no, we don't charge the trash fee. I'm in Aston Township. I pay close to three hundred dollars a year for my trash fee, which I think is a great deal. Zero is a way better deal. You get real good, a, a real good trash pickup, and and we're able to manage that. That's part of the general fund. Not raising taxes. Council's done a great job not raising taxes or or starting a trash fee, and we're able to cover that one hundred eighty nine thousand dollar trash uh, expense. Going forward, I don't know if we'll be able to continue to be able to do that because I know that's getting expensive too. Solid Waste Authority may be raising their fees in the next few years. We're going to constantly monitor that. But right now, your trash is being picked up for free. Some towns also have don't have, their township doesn't even do it. They have to they have to set up contracts privately with the individual haulers. It's much higher than what I pay in Aston and what some other towns pay. But right now, that's a great deal for you guys in the borough. Uh, the budget, like I said, also reflects wage increases for three percent for everybody. Uh, you had the health insurance um, brokers here tonight talking about our trust. If we didn't, if we don't move to that trust, our health insurance will be looking. We'd be looking at anywhere from 12 to 13 percent increase going into the trust. Our, our, our budget reflects an increase of 7.52 percent, which is manageable. All our other insurances: general liability, workers' comp, auto, property, crime. They are five-dollar increase budgeted. It was about a 40, 50,000-dollar increase from last year. Our MMO we talked about that's required by law. It's roughly 250,000 dollars. We money money's budget for the fire department. Um, Delcora, when I say the sewer increase is due to the increase by Delcora, and then our liquid fund fuel budget covers all our winter costs and our street maintenance costs. I'd like to open up any questions. Uh, I apologize I go too fast, but any questions you have, I think you feel free to ask. Jay, you did a good job. Thank Great job, Thank you. Joe, can I, can I ask, is there any kind of a line item yet? Are we able to anticipate any return on the recycling program? We have, we have money in there for, it's, it's reflecting the miscellaneous, but we have money in there for our grant so far. Mm -hmm. and, and the only thing you, you'll see in the, I didn't raise our trash, our dumping fees, I didn't raise them up anymore because I think with us doing the recycling, we'll pay less to Delaware County solid waste. So the 40000 mm -hmm. I have in there, that may come down even more if more people get recycled because we'll be taking less money there and be less weight. So how is that? <laughs> That's we're starting up right now. You just got to, you want to discuss the grant bill? What you just got to we, we spoke about the grant earlier. Yeah. You know, where we're at right now, and I'll have all of the final numbers by the end of the year, I'm anticipating we're going to get about a 3% diversion. We would like to be at 20%. That was the goal that we set at the beginning of the year. In discussions with uh, the environmental firm that's been assigned by the DEP, um, you know, she was absolutely thrilled that we saw an 8% diversion uh, the first year. Uh, however, you know, she is very confident that, uh, you know, as we, the word spreads about recycling, that we would be able to get to that 20% diversion. Um, we did just receive the technical assistance grant for valued up to $7,500, uh, but we're also looking at, uh, we submitted a grant opportunity for the implementation program. Uh, the, the amount that was submitted was right around the neighborhood of looking for $248,000. Um, you know, but that was, to, to, to be realistic about it, I, I don't think the first year that we submit for this grant that the DEP is going to award us a brand new truck. I, I think the DEP is going to, you know, look at Eddie Stone as being the first time that we've actually uh, submitted for this grant. Um, I would be thrilled uh, if we were to get costs associated with, you know, some of the publications that we put out to the community, um, you know, maybe, maybe even look at potentially getting us uh, containers uh, that we would be able to, to distribute and, and the tippers to make it a little bit more efficient uh, for the collection portion of things. Um, we did get, uh, Mr. Pacente, we submitted a performance grant this year as well. And I, I believe based on the calculation that, that was provided by the Delaware County Solid Waste, uh, we're looking at the neighborhood of maybe $6,000. Is that a fair number? That's correct. Mr. President, how much money did we take in? How much money do we actually take in from the recycling? How much money do we take in? I don't have those numbers in front of me right now. It's not, it's not, it's not a lot. We're getting money from recommunities. It's, it's getting better, though. Each month it gets better and better. Every time we go, do we... Yeah, we'll get, we'll get, a, check, we'll get a check month. Yeah, it, varies, it varies, but we get a check each month. And it's going to continue to go up as, we, as more people recycle. You're actually going to find out, I think, just on my history and some of the other towns, when they started recycling. Your garbage is going to go way down. Most of your trash is going to be recycling. So it'll be amazing. You'll have very little garbage. It'll be mostly recycling. Mm -hmm. sure. So it's, it's amazing. It's already how happening. Yeah. So the first year, we don't have the price that we took in. No, I don't have the exact price now, but it's, it's minimal right now. But no. hopefully it's going to continue to jump. Okay, thank you.
Well, essentially, what you're looking at is you're looking at the cost savings of um, with with Mr. Vicente's number of forty thousand for the solid waste. Thirty three dollars that would go to the municipal solid waste. I think we're getting back fourteen dollars a ton. So you know, every ton that we're able to recycle, essentially, it's a forty seven dollar per ton cost savings. Thirty three that you wouldn't spend for the tipping fee at the landfill, and well. 14 that you're getting back from from uh, free community per ton. Question: The environment's about better off. Mm -hmm. Joe, I have a question. Sure. What is the millage rate? Ah, uh, it's it's uh, actually uh, seven. I should know that. Uh, excuse my. Excuse me. I'll get it to you before the end of the meeting. I always I don't want to say that that's 7.2. I believe. I didn't put it on my report. Anymore. And the sewer could conceivably go up to 320. Yeah, the max the max increase that we need would be 25 dollars. I hope I can get it less than that. But it's it, 295 it now. Yeah, 295. It won't go any higher than that. And our trash fee is 165. <coughs> Zero. Um, our expenses up or down from? They're up. They're up about two two and a half percent. Basically, pretty much cost of living, and that's pretty much reflected mm -hmm. in our insurances, the new police car, and our salary increases. But being up. We were able, our revenues up over that same amount, so we don't need to raise taxes. Two new police cars. Uh, yeah, well, one's budget right now, and one from this past year. Ms. Wilson, I'm sorry. Uh, just to clarify, you said one of our loans is being retired June of next year. Did you mean to 2015? 2015, yeah, 2015. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, the only loan we'll have left will be the firehouse loan, which just started a couple of years ago when we built the firehouse. And then our tax anticipation note is pretty much just a in and out loan just to get us through the first couple months. Mm -hmm. That's not a long term loan. Mm -hmm. The, 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 uh, the borough is in real good shape debt wise. If our debt ratio is really good. If we, if we had to go out and borrow for any kind of emergency, we're in real good shape debt wise mm -hmm. based on what we bring in uh, income wise. You know. <coughs> any other questions, Council? I just want to thank Council. Your Council has given us a lot of leeway with the budget. And I really appreciate your, your time. And they, they put a lot of work into our, our finance committee, put a lot of work into it. And I appreciate Council's support and uh, help with everything. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Thank you.